I was searching for a black bag for the longest time. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a review, a review of a bag I bought about two months ago. I actually filmed an unboxing of this particular bag on my channel. I will link it below in the description box below. If you wanna check it out before this video, it might be more interesting for you. Anyways, I'm going to be talking about today the Parker Top Handle Bag by the brand Coach New York. It's a bag I've been really eyeing for a while and I finally got it back in December. And that's why in January you had an unboxing video. I mentioned a lot of things regarding textures, material, price in that video. You might be more interested in watching that one before this one today because today I'm going to be talking about my own experience with it, how I styled it, the negative points about the bag, but also a lot of positives. So yeah, you might be interested in watching both of them to know everything regarding the bag before purchasing it. Before getting into the review, um, I just wanted to really encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. It's down below, it's 100% free. Um, it means a lot to me because I've realized that there's more than 90% of you guys watch my videos but who are not subscribed so you know you guys like you should definitely subscribe change that because to me it means so much when I see that there's a lot of us and it's just so encouraging for me to make more videos the bag I'm going to be talking about is this one so it's the Parker top handle bag in black I was searching for a black bag for the longest time I don't own any black bags in my collection as uh, crazy as that may sound because I have a pretty big collection is decreasing a little because I'm selling a lot of my bags but nevertheless I have a pretty big collection and I didn't have a black bag as simple as this. I wanted a medium size black bag, so not a mini bag and definitely not like a tote bag or a big one. So I'm so happy because this bag was really the ideal one. I also got it on a very special price, um, so it just meant a lot to me. I've been wearing it so much lately because I wanted to give you a really good review on everything, like the negative points but also the positive points. It's also definitely more of a fall winter bag in my opinion because of the color mainly and of the style. If you want to get this bag, I would say check out the other colors they have it in. They have it in cream or like white but also in pink and might be more interesting for you than black but the black one is obviously um i don't know just like the og kind of like style because who doesn't want or need rather a black bag in the closet you know we all need one so i would really really go for this one if i were you but i understand that for the season might be more interesting the um, lighter colors this bag was my best friend uh <laughs> the past two months i wore it a lot and actually started to take it from my closet like from my collection without even thinking that I had to film a review very soon and that I wanted to really try it and all that for you. I was just like, I actually love this bag and it matches everything I wear. Um, I would say that it really it matched a lot of my outfits back in um, kind of like the end of winter, beginning of spring. So a lot of like earthy tones, like darker colors and all that. We can start with like just how I styled it very quickly to give you some ideas on how you can style this bag. And then I'm gonna go a bit more into the negative and positive points of the bag. You can check out the timestamps below if you wanna just know more about the actual bag and not know about the styling part. Anyways, the styling is not gonna be long because I don't have that much to say. I didn't wear it that much, but I did realize I loved pairing it with leather. So as you guys know, I have a leather skirt, leather jacket, and leather pants. Uh, fake leather or real leather, that's really not the point. The idea is that the style of leather, like the material, the look of it, I would say, matches very well that bag. I really enjoyed it because this bag is definitely a bit of a chic bag. It's classy, it's chic, it's timeless. As I already mentioned in my unboxing video and pairing it with such a modern material edgy material like leather really created such an interesting balance that I really enjoyed pairing it with that and I would still wear it now because I feel like leather you can still wear it in like March April like it can get a bit chilly at least I know that in Switzerland it gets still a little chilly you know so I would totally see myself pairing it with like my leather jacket for example that I'm gonna wear a lot in April so this is something I loved doing at the past two months I also loved pairing it with with blazers or a bit more structured jackets. I think that it really definitely creates a timeless, even vintage looking uh, style. And this was actually something I was very concerned in my video, in my unboxing, because I thought it looked a bit too vintage -y, a bit too like old person type of bag. And it does have a bit of that style, I feel like, but at the same time, I truly enjoyed actually matching it with my different outfits. Um, as I said, whether I would go for something a bit more edgy and modern, or I would go with something more classy and timeless in my wardrobe, it all matched it very very well and it didn't bother me that it might look a little bit more on the vintage style or mature style I thought it looked 
really great with the outfits and what I loved is that it's actually created a nice balance because this bag as I mentioned I think in my unboxing I'm not sure now but I would see myself wearing it for like so long like still 10 years down the road I see myself wearing such a bag so that's why I really enjoyed mixing and matching it with my different outfits whether I would go for a bit of a classy look feminine or a modern edgy one as I mentioned so this is kind of how I enjoyed wearing it I wouldn't see myself pairing it with pastel colors this is why I said Say that for me spring summer is more like pastel pink colors and all that stuff and a little bit of black as well of course but in terms of bags I'm not sure I don't know I feel like it's a bit too rough I don't know who knows maybe I might wear it in spring summer anyways you'll have to follow me on Instagram to see if I post any pictures with it or follow me here subscribe as I mentioned to see if I post any vlog or particular video with that bag anyways that was just a quick little how I styled it and how I loved styling it just as simple as that but I really wanted to talk about also the positive points and negative points of the bag so let's get going for that so this bag I have to say have many many positive points I'm gonna first of all talk about how you can wear the bag first of all you can wear it top handle so as simple as that with the little handle like this I wore this one I think the most it was the most practical it was the nicest looking uh, but I don't know it was just natural for me to wear with the top handle however you have a very pretty chain that is leather and a little like chain part right here this is amazing and I mentioned it so much in the unboxing that I was so excited about this because I love wearing my bag uh, like crossbody but Unfortunately, crossbody was not for me in this bag. For a simple reason, this bag is extremely structured and hard. Like it's hard like leather. I don't know what it is, but it's super, super structured. And unfortunately, because of that, when I would wear it crossbody, it would dig in my waist just above the hip. So for that, it's not really comfortable, unfortunately. So I would end up wearing a top handle or if I needed my hands free, I would wear it on my shoulder, which is not that practical to be honest. So on that side, I would say it's not the type of bag you can just like put like crossbody and go do your thing you know so that was a big downside of the bag where I'm a little bit disappointed with it but I guess it makes sense as well let me know if you have the same issue if you have the bag and then otherwise about the quality of it because I wanted to mention the quality of that bag I've worn it only for two months and a half and not even every day so it's really hard for me to tell you oh it's amazing quality like get it you will not regret it I don't know yet if it actually is that great but so far I have to say like I'm the type of person that I wear my bags so by that I mean I don't really care if I have to put it on the floor or on the ground or if I have to throw it somewhere I mean of course I'm not gonna like break my bag or something but I just make them like live their life in a way I don't know how to explain this I'm not gonna be overly careful also because obviously they're not super super overpriced obviously if I had an MS I don't think I would throw it in the car just whatever but this one I kind of do and I did and I don't see any scratches like no scratches nothing at all um, it looks brand new it looks like the day I unboxed it on this channel literally um, I don't see anything maybe there's like one or two like tiny ones but it's really hard to see I don't know if it's the leather that is good I don't know if the quality is good I don't know if it's because I haven't worn it enough uh, it might be probably that to be honest but I have to say that I haven't seen any issues regarding the bag like how it looks or anything it looks brand new still so that's a big yay for coach and coach is actually doing so well with bags I saw that they have a lot of really trendy colors coming up um, or actually you can find them now on their website they have a lot of yellow bags and pink bags which are two of the super trendy colors for spring summer if you haven't watched my video on the spring summer trends I will link it below or around the screen so you can check it out I talk about all the trends for spring and summer in that video and I mentioned yellow and pink and they're really definitely like the colors to watch out for and coach knows that and they have a new like their new collection is full of yellow and pink bags so just for that I would recommend you guys check out their website or their store if you have one in your city or somewhere because they're doing so well so I really really recommend you guys check out that for the season but besides that I have to say the quality I'm really really impressed and I see why it's priced the way it is priced um, I think it's definitely worth it and it's definitely a good quality premium brand also regarding the space because this is all something so interesting there's a lot of space in this bag I was able to pack so much stuff in there maybe not like a bottle of water or something of course but I just was searching for a medium size 
sized bag and I have to say that this one really really worked well for me um, I could pack so much stuff for the day and it was so easy and I still had a lot of space in there so I am so happy with the space you have a lot of pockets so you can put a lot of like little cards wallet whatever you want um, it's also very like safe or secure if I can say so meaning that it's not that easy to steal from you I would say because the little closure it's kind of hard to actually even open it by yourself you have to turn this little thing I don't know if you see it but anyways like to close it and open it it's not that easy and since there's so much space in here most of our stuff are probably gonna get to the bottom of the bag at least it was like this for me so it's really not that easy to steal from you which is also a good point and I feel always like very safe with it like I don't feel like anyone can necessarily put their hand in there and get something out of it so I um, was very happy with that little aspect of the bag yeah otherwise I have to say the color is the perfect black like I mean it's just perfect uh, the chain looked gorgeous um, the only really big downside is the fact that you can't wear it crossbody but that's literally the only downside I found wearing it the past Two months. I will wear it much more in fall winter this year so if by any chance there's a big update and I just hate something I will let you know on here or on Instagram for sure but so far I've loved it I definitely do not want to get rid of it or sell it I was mentioning that in my video um, two months ago that I could sell it eventually but nope I will not be selling this bag because honestly I do see myself wearing it for a long long time there's other bags I'm currently selling from my bag collection that I just don't wear anymore that just not my style anymore have less but better quality so pay maybe more for things but only have one of that or two of that but max so I've been really trying to do that and this is what I'm doing with my bag let me know if you want an updated bag collection by the way I might do one last time was January last year um, I will link it below as well or put it around the screen if you want to check it out uh, if you're curious or anything but some of the bags I don't have them anymore so that's why if you want an updated one let me know I will also put all the links to buying these bags in different colors in the description box below so it's easy for you click on it and that's it and I think that's pretty much it for the review so i really hope you enjoyed the video that uh, you learned more about this uh, parker top handle bag if you haven't watched the unboxing and you want to know more info about the material the price and all that good stuff i really recommend you guys check out the very first video to know more about the bag and as i already said at the beginning if you're not subscribed yet do subscribe to my channel it means a lot and comment below if you want to comment below as well it does mean a lot to me as usual and other than this as i always say i will see you next week in my next video bye